Welcome to Screw the Commute, the entrepreneurial podcast dedicated to getting you out of the car and into the money with your host, lifelong entrepreneur and multimillionaire, Tom Antion. Hey, everybody, it's Tom here with episode 686 of Screw the Commute podcast. Today, we're going to talk about beginner's artificial intelligence. Wow, that's what a lot of people say I have. <laughs> well, well what, what is this? I'm going to tell you about that, what it is. And I'm going to concentrate on a thing called chat GBT, GPT, excuse me. And it's going to do a ton of things for you. <laughs> and, and right now you can even make money with it. Uh, and there's many competitors too, because uh, we had one of my guys try to sign up for it. I mean, uh, several million people try to sign up in the first couple of days with this artificial intelligence chat bot uh, for free. So I have a, I'm going to have a link in the show notes where you can have 15 alternatives to chat GPT. Hopefully one of them will work out for you, but boy, is this a lot of fun, but it's scary on one hand, but <laughs> these things that it'll do, wait till you see some examples I give you here in this uh, episode. All right. Hope you didn't miss episode 685. That was Rob Garcia. This guy flunked out of both high school and college, and he flunked out of college twice. <laughs> so I'm not even sure how you do that. He must be a really high achiever, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, he went on to get a PhD and overcome all his childhood problems. And uh, he's a veteran and uh, just a really great guy, inspirational guy. And he's going to talk to you about press releases and how to get really known with them. All right. Hey, I'm doing great guns. I just uh, this morning had one video on TikTok has got 168,000 views and and still going up. <laughs> right? So I've got several episodes about my, you know, my exploits on TikTok. Now, and the government's trying to ban it all of a sudden. So I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to take advantage of it while I can. So my handle is, uh, you can go to tiktok.com slash the at sign digital multimillionaire. Oh, and another thing that just happened to me, somebody uh, spoofed digital multimillionaire by putting a zero on the end and started making fake comments to get people to go over to WhatsApp where he could try to rip them off. So I had to delete all of those real late at night last night. But anyway, it's going good over there. And I want to thank everybody doing the Patreon uh, that's uh, kicking in a little bit of money every month to help fund our scholarship program for persons with disabilities. And that's screwthecommute.com slash Patreon. It starts as little as three bucks a month. So uh, help us out there. All right, let's get into the main event. Uh, artificial intelligence is what we're talking about. It's it's, I think sometimes it's called machine learning. And this is a beginner's class. And guess what? I'm a beginner. This is all the rage right now. And uh, and so I said, I got to get on this and, and learn about it and at least tell you what I know to, as we go along. Now, artificial intelligence is actually everywhere. I mean, it's in your smartphone, your car, social media, computer games, banking, surveillance, ev everything is uh, involved with uh artificial intelligence. Some people call it generalized learning. And uh, basically, it's like a, a chatbot that you can converse with more lifelike, more real, realistic. And boy, it'll do all kinds of things. Like I said, I'm going to give you some examples here pretty soon. So it can problem solve for you. Now, there's two types. There's weak AI and strong AI. Now, weak AI is great at one thing. So weak AI might be good at uh, an online baseball game, an Xbox game or something, but it's terrible at a football game or can't do a football game at all. So it's good at really one task. So that's weak AI. And then strong AI is like almost like you see on the movies where it, the, the thing can take, a uh, robot can take on emotions and pretty soon take over you and substitute you, kill you, bury you. No, I don't know. I don't know. But, but get, you know, some people are, are predicting and by 2045, the, the artificial intelligence will be as smart as humans. And I, I got to tell you, from what I see on TV, a lot of the people on these uh, 
these news shows, I think artificial intelligence beat them a long time ago. They're basically highly educated idiots, which is the title of one of my new books, by the way. <laughs> but uh, they're also talking about implanting some of this artificial intelligence in the person, making you kind of a cyborg. <laughs> all, right, so, uh, all kinds of stuff going on here. But right now, the artificial inter intelligence is built to work with humans, not against them. <laughs> all right, we're going to concentrate today on chat GPT. And the GPT stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. <laughs> but it's a type of natural language processing, that's NLP, a model that uses deep learning to generate human-like responses to conversations. It's based on the transformer architecture. And I, to all of us, transformer, or most of us, transformer means the movie. <laughs> you know, I don't know what this stuff means. And it's pre-trained on a large corpus of conversational data. It can be used to create chatbots that can respond to user queries in a natural and conversational manner. Well, guess where I got that description? I typed it into ChatGPT and said, what is ChatGPT? <laughs> it kicked out that answer. But that, that's simple. And, you know, anybody can do that. Where do you hear some of the other things it's going to do? Now, uh, later, I'm going to tell you how you can make money with this, but you got to be careful because you don't want to get, you know, it can write articles and blog posts and things, but you don't want to get nabbed for plagiarism. And also, another thing you got to watch out for is Google has already said that artificial intelligence articles are spam and they can somehow tell. So, you got to be very careful and let it do the heavy lifting for you, and then you still have to tweak it. So it's not just like falling off a log, hitting a button, and you're selling articles or making blog posts. Now, I mean, you could, but you'll get, you know, people will want their money back when they get in trouble for it, and it won't do any good for your sites at all because it'll be considered spam, and then you'll never get a high ranking. So, so it's not the end all be all at this point. You can talk and or basically type to it right now, unless you're using your voice recognition, into this thing in regular language. It kind of reminds me years and years ago, there was a thing called Ask Jeeves that <laughs> was a, a, a very rudimentary search engine, but you could, you know, talk to it in normal terms. It wasn't voice recognition in those days, but you could type a, a normal question. And Ask Jeeves would respond. But this is way, way more than that. Then whatever it gives you, you can adjust it and tweak it. And that's, I think, the key to this that a lot of people are, I'm sure, are going to be coming out with training courses on how to form, formulate your question to the thing or tell it what you want so carefully that you get what you want. And then if you don't get exactly what you want, you can ask it to tweak it for you. For instance, if you ask for five bullet points, you could say, can you make it longer? And they'll give you more for each bullet point or more bullet points. Can you make it more formal? They'll change the writing style. And I'm talking about if you tried to, if you got some results and you wanted to tweak it, what can you say? Can you make it shorter? Can you make it easier? It responds to all these things. So, so, all right, folks, so I got to be a little self-serving here since I'm sitting here giving you this free info. <laughs> so I put in, I'm going to give you a bunch of examples here now. So I put in, give me five bullet points about the great Tom Antion. <laughs> Number one. Now, also, you got to watch for things to be totally wrong. One of the things I'm going to tell you that it kicked out is totally wrong. So I would never put it out under my name. So anyway, it's I said five bullet points. All right, number one, Tom Antion's a world-renowned speaker and author, having written over 30 books on topics ranging from public speaking to business success. True. Two, he's the founder and CEO of the Internet Marketing Training Center of Virginia, which provides coaching and training to entrepreneurs. True. Three, uh, let's see. Tom is a frequent guest on radio and television shows and has been featured in Forbes and Entrepreneur Magazine. Uh, 
That one is semi-true. I've been mentioned in both of those, but not featured, I don't believe. I can't remember. Maybe entrepreneur, yes, but Forbes, no. I was mentioned by my protege, Ilya Posen, who who made all that money selling a big company. Um, so that's uh, uh, risky to put that out. Number four, he's been featured speaker at numerous conferences, including the Global Entrepreneurship Summit and the Small Business Expo. Yeah, I think those are the names of some of the places that have done 3,000 speeches. But five, number five bullet point, totally incorrect. Tom is the recipient of numerous awards. Well, that's partially correct. I've won a couple awards, including the National Speakers Association Certified Speaking Professional designation. No, that's not even true at all. And Entrepreneur of the Year Award from the Small Business Administration. <laughs> I have no idea where they got that. Not true. I'm not claiming it's true, and I would never in a million years claim that's true. So you can see, yeah, this jack, uh, you know, saves you a lot of time, you know, putting stuff together, but you still need to edit it. All right. So then I said, give me uh, five bullet points about the Internet Marketing Training Center of Virginia. Number one, offers comprehensive and customized training, offers hands-on group training, virtual programs, private one-on-one. Covers topics on SEO, email marketing, so, so forth. I'm just paraphrasing. I mean, I'm not giving you the whole thing to waste your time. Provides certificate. Uh, aims to help business create successful digital marketing advertising. Yeah, all those are true. And uh, <laughs> jacked that up in like, I mean, a few seconds it took to get all that copy written for him. Then I said, uh, give me some sales copy for the Kickstart Guide to Viral Marketing. I didn't tell him I was the author. I didn't say anything. And it kicked this out. Are you looking for an easy, fast way to get your business noticed? The Kickstart Guide to Viral Marketing is a perfect solution for you. The guide is designed, and it goes on and on on viral marketing. <laughs> Just, <laughs> so it wrote all that copy. Now, still, you know, I'm a big proponent of copywriting, and uh, I'm not sure that it's up to snuff on everything you need to sell stuff, but it sure gives you a good start. All right, now the next thing is totally wrong. I'm not going to read the whole thing to you, but I said, give me some sales copy for the ultimate guide to professional speaking. That's a book I wrote on the business of speaking. My wake em up book is on the presentation skills and all that stuff. So it said, the ultimate guide to professional speaking is your definitive guide to success in the speaking industry. All right, I'll live with that. From crafting a powerful message to delivering it with confidence and poise, this guide will provide you with the essential knowledge and skills to become a... No, it doesn't talk at all about developing your speech or delivering it, nothing. And the whole thing goes on about that kind of stuff. So that answer was totally incorrect and unusable for that purpose. I could probably take that over to the Wake em Up book and it would be way more applicable. So then I put how to make chicken wings crispy. <laughs> so it gave me the direct instructions on how to do that. All right, any kind of search on Google would do that. But here, this is the one I want you to really pay attention to. I wrote a really, I think, I think to be a complex search string. So I said, tell me which survival watch costing less than $200 has the most function functions and is the most reliable it came back virtually instantly the casio g-shock gwm 5610 uh, men's solar atomic digital sports watch is a great choice for a reliable multifunction survival watch that costs less than 200 dollars. the watch features a solar powered battery world time daily alarm stopwatch countdown timer full auto calendar and is water resistant up to 200 meters it also comes with shock resistance and backlight with afterglow for low light view. <laughs> All right. So the only thing it left out was the reliability part. Remember I said, um, what did I say? Tell me the, the has the most function is the most reliable. It skipped that totally. So right after it gave me that answer, I typed in, is it reliable? Question mark. And then the answer came back instantly. Yes, the Casio G-Shock, blah, 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 men's watch 
is a reliable choice. It has been tested and de designed to withstand shocks, vibrations, temperature fluctuations, and extreme conditions. It's also water resistant to 200 meters, ensuring it can withstand wet conditions. <laughs> Look at that. All right, so I threw in another curveball. What if I was willing to spend up to $500? It answered immediately, if you were willing to spend up to $500, you could consider the Garmin Instinct Solar Tactical Edition GPS watch. And then it goes to describe it. All right, so <laughs> it's just crazy magic. There's like a little researcher in there, uh, you know, just your little tiny midget researcher <laughs> in there. I don't know. I guess midget's not. I'm a, I should type in, is midget politically correct? I don't know. A little tiny being that is looking at your searches and is and is lightning fast put it that way all right so how what can you do right this moment to start making money with this well first of all you go to openai.com to find this thing however one of my guys tried to do it yesterday and it said at capacity i imagine there's enormous computer power to to try to run this thing so I gave, uh, there's going to be a link in the show notes to 15 other, I guess, competitors that do about the same thing. So, and, and, you know, I didn't even tell you all the things that do that. Those were just some examples of, you know, research and text. It can generate gorgeous artwork. You can tell the thing. Now, I don't know how to do all this stuff yet. I'll admit that, but I've seen the demonstrations of it. You could say, I want a, a picture of, a cartoon picture of Tom Antion water skiing while holding a Jewish menorah or something like that, you know, and it'll make, <laughs> it'll make a gorgeous picture for you. So when we're talking about making money, some people are selling stock photos or custom photos. And a lot of people are listing themselves on Fiverr. And, you know, so like, for instance, write a blog post of 500 words so that takes them 10 seconds to do it in chat uh, GPT. And then they edit it for a little bit to make sure it's not stupid. And so they make $15, $20 on that within a matter of, I don't know, two or three minutes. You know, so amazing. And you can create the custom artwork for people. Cartoon versions, anyway. Some people are selling product descriptions. So, the you know. Somebody gives you details on their product and it writes a nice product description for their website. Uh, what else can you do with this? Oh, so it'll actually write code for you. So this one guy is making money, making these little calculator kind of things or little utilities. Like he made a thing to convert PDF files to Word. Just He just said, give me a PHP code that converts a PDF file to Word. Well, a lot of people want to do this, but pretty much you have you've had to had Adobe's paid program to do it. So this guy said, "Do it," and right in front of your eyes, it generated all this code that you have no idea what it is. Put it on his website and advertised it so that people would come there, and it built traffic to his website. So and you can advertise other things around it. So uh, just crazy things. I told it, you know, I pay. A bunch of extra money you know I'm, i keep a mortgage because this billionaire guy told me you know you always should keep some kind of credit out there uh, you know you, you don't want to pay everything in cash all the time because then when you really want to buy something big you don't have any credit built up so he said keep some keep credit on cer certain things and the mortgage interest is tax deductible so uh, but i i pay it down like pay a couple thousand extra a month uh on this big mortgage to start with and the uh, I said, well, uh, what I say? Give me a PHP code for a calculator that estimates the time saved on a mortgage if you make extra payments each month. And it within I don't know thirty seconds, it had created this entire PHP code. <laughs> All right, so probably the coders are getting a little worried out there. I mean, it can create headlines for you, bullet points. You can brainstorm titles of books. I mean, all kinds of things. Uh, you know, so it'll transcribe. If you want to have your own transcribing service, you just, you know, for audios and videos, you can charge for it. So amazing technology, and we're not sure what it's, 
what's going to happen? I mean, it seems like a lot of people are afraid their jobs are going to be replaced with this stuff. So, so it's probably best to pivot now to get into something that is really uh, powerful that ha- actually helps people so that you're always in demand, you know, so I don't think I'm going to go obsolete anytime soon. <laughs> All right. So, um, so anyway, that's a little bit on, um, the beginner's guide to artificial intelligence. And like I said, you can give it a shot at openai.com. And if you can't get in, just uh, look at the link in the show notes and uh, sign up for one of them. The, some of, they all have, I think, free trials, but uh, they're all going to, you know, I can only imagine the computing power necessary to run this. So they're going to have to charge for it. But uh, even, you know, I don't know how much they would charge. Let's say it was $50 a month. You can make that on one blog post for somebody, you know, so, so, uh, anyway, something to keep an eye on. I'll give you updates on it as I learn more in the, in future episodes. So, so that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Hey, help us out on Patreon. And of course, if you want a real cyborg like me (laughs) to help you one-on-one get in my internet uh, marketing mentor program, Uh, I don't think any uh, cyborg is ever going to duplicate what I give you because it's so unique. And you can see the, a lot of the details at greatinternetmarketingtraining.com. All right, we'll catch you all in the next episode. See you later.